Hey guys, this is Chivos, and I'm back for another Football Manager 14 video. Just quickly looking at our recent run of fixtures. The last time I saw you guys was the QPR game. It was a 2-0 loss. We've had a not very good run lately. If you have a look at our form from the start of the season to the form now, it's uh, not looking very good. We've had a 4-3 loss in the Capital One Cup final, quarter final, sorry. A one all draw with Norwich, a one all draw with Leicester, two all draw with Everton, which is good to pick up points there. Uh, Chelsea, we lost 2 1. We were winning most of the game. They did score two 80th minute goals to win 2 1. Biggest upset of the campaign so far was Bristol City beat us 1 0 in their FA Cup third round. It's a bit disappointing, but gives us more time to focus on the league. Uh, Liverpool. We drew with one all. That was quite a big result there. And Fulham, we just beat 3-1. Today we'll be looking at the uh, Arsenal fixture. I'll just show you just some quick stats. Ryan Hall's out the highest goal scorer with 10 goals overall. Ben Reeves got 8 assists. Ryan Hall most uh, play of the matches with 3. One thing to know is Ryan Hall is currently out with a broken toe. Unfortunately, it will be out between seven weeks and two months, so we do not have him for quite a while. Not very good at all. So, um, we'll just have a look at some quick squad stats, just to see how everything's going. So, in the league, um, Kevin Trapp has made most appearances with a 19. Yeah, he's 6.75 rating, not bad. Just some of the big people to look out for. Ryan Halls, 9 goals, 5 assists, 3 player of the match. Nile Ranger, he's only had 6 appearances where he's had 8 off the bench. He scored 4 with assisted 2. And Ricky Lambert, our current starter, has scored 7 from 16. 5 assists, 1 player of the match. The highest average rating so far this year is Ryan Hall currently out. And if you just check here, Bongali Kamalo, Jose Antonio Caro, Ricky Lambert, Jake Taylor, Ben Reed. So these guys are generally starting. Um, Darius Dudka has not really had a big impact this season, which is not a good thing to see. Alright, it is 18th of January, mid-transfer window. Nothing's happened. People just looking for loans. Just one thing to look at here. Taberson, not a bad player. He's 22 years old. Uh, our bid was accepted at quite a small fee, at $39,500. Only problem was their work permit failed, so they will not send him over. But without further ado, our match today is against Arsenal. So if you have a look, not bad. Giroud is their main man this year. 21 appearances, 16 goals, 8 assists. And Ozil, on the other hand, has 8 assists as well, 3 goals. So this is quite a big squad for them. They do have the likes of Leighton Baines, uh, Kovac Kovacic, and Pereira, who's currently, uh, currently a Juventus player in real life. All these guys, there's big, big strong side. Not expecting a result here today, but... If you have a look at our fixtures, just down, down the bottom here, we are going through our hard run of results now. You see, start of the season, we started off um, just here, Liverpool, Chelsea, Fulham, Arsenal, City, Forest, Tottenham, United. One, two, three, four, five, the six of the biggest teams in the league at the start. And you have a look here, we've just played Chelsea. Liverpool, Fulham, now we play Arsenal, City, Tottenham, United, all in a row. So the next five games probably won't pick up any points. If we do, it'll be a massive thing for us. And you just need to look at the table. We're sitting in 13th position, 25 points. So uh, we're five points off relegation, not too bad. But uh, Reading look like they're probably going to go down this year. And then there's a big scramble from 19th up until 11th, who could all still possibly go down. So, without further ado, we'll get into a game. Um, 
Staying this, starting Colback and Toodle currently. I might start hosting this game. Um, just he's a bit better. Uh, Lovington's getting older, so I need to put some more youth into the squad. So Colback's starting with the current replacement of Toodle sometimes. Um, Potter has just been there, but Frances Marquet, uh, signing of the last window, has been playing really well. So I will be starting him again. And Ricky Lambert does get the start over Nala Ranger. So here we are, we'll go into today's fixture. Um, so we could go to as high as 11th, which is not bad, but Arsenal could push to 5th, which is probably what they're looking forward to doing. So without further ado, we'll get to the team talk, and we just tell the boys we are the underdogs. And uh, that didn't really do much, so I just tell them that I've got faith in them. But by telling them that you have faith, it's always going to make them get happy. So here we go into the into the start of the game. A bit laggy, but there we go. Caro to Hudson, and we now go into the simulation part of the game. So even with the draw here today, I think we pick up maybe one position. As it says on the left, we pick up probably one position, but a, a draw is good because we just need to put some points on the board for this hard part of the season. We're not expecting to get any points for the next five games. But if we do pick up points, it could be vital to our survival later on for the season. Colback picks up the ball, plays it out to Lambert, but Lambert misses, so... Arsenal retain possession of the ball, Giroud's on, and he's probably going to score, which he has. Nine minutes into the game, Arsenal lead, 1-0. Not like the sort of start we're looking for, but, you know, this is how football goes, so. Currently hope for a better result. We're not going to watch the highlight. It just takes up too much time in the video and does cause a bit of lag, I have realised. So I might turn those off for now. Ricky Lambert seems to take a knock. He's down to 80% conditioning. He'll pick up, fortunately, but this is not a good start from us. 20 minutes in, Drew's on the ball again to Baines. Baines to Ramsey. Ramsey back to Vermeulen. Back to Ramsey. Plays to Pereira. To Ozil, who's going to put Drew on, is he? He does, and Kevin Trapp can't make the save. Drew scores two in 20 minutes. But, silly me, Drew was offside, getting getting a bit excited, but that's good for us. No point getting all frustrated there. So, uh, good result for us overall. Um, just, just looking at the season, I've already said a couple of times that we would like 38 points to guarantee survival. This stage in the season... 38 might not be enough looking at the teams towards the bottom. I think Reading are already out of the picture. They are five points off the, the drop, which is uh, five points under the drop, which is not good. It means they're showing signs of weakness already. Um, as we go into the half, it's still in the 1 0, which is good news for us. Um, I'll just tell the boys, you've been unlucky so far. They seem quite happy with that. So we'll start to push into the second half now. And just gonna struggle a bit without Ryan Hall as well. We know Ryan Hall's out for two months. And uh he is the highest goal scorer of the team, he's the goal creator, like he's he's been the man this year. I believe he was the man last year too. Yeah, if I recall, but uh, yeah, Ryan Hall is just been playing incredible uh, as Trap saves the ball. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Hall's been playing incredible. He's the main man of the team this year, and to lose him at such a vital part of the season is really going to hurt us. I'm considering to get someone in for three months on on a loan, but I'm not sure if if I'm willing to do that. I'm still going to have to look into the market. I'm also going to have a look at some free transfers. I know we've got a lot of money, but just want to see what what type of market we're looking at, who we can bring in. Um, if there's any players we can sign 
for six months time it would be a quite quite a big deal for us I mean as you see we have picked up the likes of Ricky Lambert Jack Colback and uh, Kevin Trapp so you do have some big names starting to enter into the squad we're now 75 minutes in so I'm gonna make some changes here Fraser fives on a yellow card so Tom Taylor we can get his spot back Edison you would know if we can come on for Taylor oh no he'll come on for Reeves, Reeves has had a bit of a quiet game I would bring on Nile Ranger to uh, lead the group and just to change it up I'm gonna go to an attacking fluid for the last 15 minutes see if we can uh, sneak in a goal maybe maybe get a point that could really make or break our season you never know we could be this could be a vile talking point because we already did get the draw with Liverpool to get the draw with Arsenal as well would be a massive feat for us especially considering we are most probable to relegation but we don't have any cup competition so it's not going to affect our fitness we can purely focus on the league now and I think focusing on the league was always the the big thing for us this year and now knowing that it's the only thing we have to focus on it could really push us to do well and Condraver's on here and Trap makes a lovely save Walcott does pick up the ball though that's back out to Jordanov who just puts it out into the touchline which is good, we're cleaning the ball. 84, 80, 85 minutes in now. I don't think we're going to get a goal here. We are in the defensive half. And we have given the ball back. Oh no, we've received the ball here. Market gives it back. Yep, looks like we might concede here. Uh, Kumalo is going to get a red card. Which is not good because he's been the key defender this year. So look at that, Kumalo gets a red card. Not, not very good. He's been the main man in the back line this year. So uh, I'm going to have to figure something out here. Marquette, I'm going to have to drop to a defensive. Um, and I'll tell you what, I've got like this. Taylor can play there. And Marquette can sit behind Taylor. We're just going to have to play back three for the last couple minutes. Baines puts it straight to trap, which is very unfortunate for him. Um... Looks like we're going to end the game with 10 men. Still only one now, which is always good news. 30 seconds ago, it's just going to be another one of Stuber's highlights of drag time out. Or oh, maybe it's not. Oh! He's offside. Could have had a goal there. Unfortunately, we've lost this game 1 0. So, we'll tell the boys they're unlucky tonight. They all seem quite happy with that. Kevin Trapp with a high rating, not bad. And as you can see, we we the only game today. And it hasn't worked out too bad. We haven't dropped any points. Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't picked up any points, but we haven't dropped any places on the table, which is always good news. This is uh, the important player. Facebook hard. We just get through this talk. Blah blah blah. Kumalo's been banned for one match. See his first card, first red card of the season, so I'm not going to complain about that. So this does make our fixture run look bad for the next couple of weeks. Um, Man City, Tottenham, Man United, you know the way things go. Might join you guys around the Brighton or the Swansea game. Um, if I do make any transfers, then I will do a transfer special, but it's not not looking likely at this point in time. Um, if you got any hints, tips comments, feedback, anything, leave it in the comment section below. It's really appreciated. Also, if you'd smash the like button, it really does help me get out there and make me a bit more noticeable in the YouTube community. Uh, my name is Chivos. I have been your host for today, and hopefully I'll see you next time. I'm out.